guitar class and i want to welcome you to the month of february and as i i i said earlier you know i want to dedicate february to break down popular f- high life songs and for that matter local songs that uh, uh, um we, 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 we it is important for us to know you know and i started with the legendary yao sapong so today i am doing a subon thing by the legendary yao sapong and uh, there's actually a guitar interlude in that song and I'll break it down. You know, this song doesn't actually have a lot of rhythm parts and it's just muted guitar and a few, you know, solo lines inside. So I'll run I'll run through the song with you and then uh, try and break it down and then we move on to the guitar interlude for today's session. Now, uh, if you have any comments, you can leave it. I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel tell others about this channel and then let's push push this channel for it thank you so much for uh, uh, joining us tonight so let's enjoy the lesson Me. Mm-hmm. 
Come back, so I just ran through a uh, suburban team by Yao Sapon and a name of the brain of my boy. You know, the track actually has a few guitars in it, and you know, uh, uh, me and me, I just try to incorporate my old things to make it very you know lively. So I'm just going to take you through some of the things I played, how I followed the chord progression, and then I will I will break down the interlude. And I'll break down the interlude. So let's zoom into it. Thank you so much. So now the intro. So now you realize that the guitar is just playing. Do la so do, do la so do. Now, one thing you should take note is that when the chord is on one, all that I am doing is I am playing do do la so do do. So I'm playing. I, I'm basically playing this. that is what I am doing so the chord progressions are four one five one 
four one five one that is how the code progressions are good four one five one so i have this the song is actually in b flat b flat b flat major good so far those who do far those who do now if the chord is in one and basically playing do do lasso do do it's like good now how i achieve the palm mute is i'm just using my palm to mute the strings from here to mute the strings from here good now some of the legs when i am moving to for example when i'm moving to four I I play do read it all depending on the position I am. So this is how I do it. Now this is my fa chord. It's fa, so I can choose to play la fa or maybe la do fa or something. Just in the chord, everything should be in the chord. And then uh, when I'm going with a five, I can play la to t. Then I'll add so from here. So I'm basically playing mi fa mi re do to mi fa mi re do to. The reason why the tall or the flat seven is there is I am I am going to far. So some of the things I used to go to far is when you're playing local, typical local, you can you can basically hit the tall and then you form the far chord. It makes it very nice. It is just like uo do and then you are playing just like uo do and then you are playing the the dominant seventh chord of the do no now the akofa. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. Good. So that is how it is and I played some things like now I'm just using duets do it so I'm playing mi fa mi re do so from mi fa mi re do I'll just come to to la so I have this These are duets, local duets. So now I have for for duets. No, just like we have do re mi fa so la ti do. Good. We have do mi re fa so uh, do mi re fa mi so fa la so ti la do ti re do mi. Just like forming the triad. Do mi so re fa la mi so ti fa la do so ti re la do mi ti re fa do mi so. Basic, basic, basic guitar triad forming the chord these are some of the things you should work on if you want to really play locals you shouldn't leave these things they are very very important you know the you know i i probably you've heard sweet mother that is how they played it something like you know 
not not typically sweet matter but i mean i i am i am emphasizing on the duets this is something basic that if you really want to play local guitar you should know work on your duet so those are some of the things i used those are some of the things i used good and and basically um that is that is it you know the chord is far do so do now when we go to so i play some some tenor lines these are tenor lines now it goes uh, like this <laughs> So if I'm going from six to two or la re, but then the two, there's a re that you play and then you stand there, and it's actually a re chord. But then there's a re that actually has a flat five fee, that we you are just ending up in so from that re. So this is what I mean. For this re, you are standing there on the record but then when you play the re as a seventh for example i am playing b flat so when i play c seventh that c seventh actually means that in local actually means that from there i am going to the five or the so something like this Local, it is something basic. If you if you want to go to so, you can actually play the dominant seventh of the re chord, and then you take it to so, you take it to so basically, you take it to so. Now you see what actually most of the times what actually confuses people is that, no, they don't actually know their way around the fretboard. You see, the fretboard is something you should know. Now I can play a lick. And then I haven't changed anything. I'll just move to a different place and play the same lick. And people are confused. You see, you have to study the fretboard by using just the major scale. The major scale, like something like this. major scale major scale now major scale i mean i mean if if you are on the internet and probably use a smartphone major scale is something that should be on your fingertips because you can just browse major scale and it will come just pick the guitar go through find some like find precious time sit down and and rehearse you know so basically major scale if you want to play guitar play local guitar you just need the major scale not any sophisticated scale or anything that will boggle your mind no major scale major scale good so now i would go straight to the interlude uh, the the interlude yeah and break it down and then uh, i would end with the lesson uh, our next breakdown is going to be Dana hamilton's adam and i want you to watch out Dana hamilton's adam so this is how the interlude actually starts now i am playing in b flat here <laughs> good now you realize that when the interlude starts there's a slide and then the person releases to re so it's like you have slided you've bent you've bent the chord to me and then you release it to re and then you play do la so something like this
so after the bending you play do lasso then you slide from ray to me when you slide from ray to me then you play so 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 re mi so 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 it's like this <laughs> After, after remi so 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 and you play lado again and you come and bend again, so it's like this. Ti do la la so, ti do ti do la la so in B flat first string. So after Tido La La So, this is how it goes. So you play Re Mi Fa Fa Mi. So I'll jump from that B flat shape to this place. Hi. So you are welcome. Now I want to break down the interlude for you to get the notes i actually played so that you can also play it good so i'll start from b flat <laughs> start from a slide now i'll slide uh, i'll bend from me to re and then i'll, I'll end on do so this is how it goes <laughs> it's like me re do la so but then i'll bend from me to re and i'll play do la so <laughs> I'll slide from Ray to me so that Ray to me, me so so so. So this is how it goes. So I'll repeat that again and I'll play. Ti do la la so. Ti do la la so. Good. That is do re mi so mi so 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 do re. Then I'll bend again. I'll play do la so again. Ti do la la so ti do on the first string and la la so on the second string. So from here. I'll just move from this shape to this B flat. From that B flat, now I am playing Re Mi Fa Fa Mi. Good. So do Mi Re, La Re Do. Re Mi Fa Fa Mi, So do Mi Re, La Re Do. And then I'll play So Fa Mommy. So Fa Mommy here. So 
so remi fa fa mi so do mi re la re do so fa mo mi to re mi fa so so mi so do mi re do re do good now the next one is a run something like this So tall as so far me re do ti la so, and then mi fa so la ti so la ti do re mi so la do do do. Good. So you know, you know the fingering. Uh, you just get the notes, and then the fingering depends on how you want to play it. So, 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 so tall as so far me re do ti la so. Mi fa so la ti so la ti do re mi so la do do do. That is the note. Then I'll I'll come to octave duet. So 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 far 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 me me re re do do la to la so. So. So with my right hand technique, I'm using hybrid. The pick in my in ring finger, my middle finger. Sorry. So I pick it like this, R hybrid picking. <laughs> I'm doing I am bending for me to re again. So mi re do mi re do re do re mi so do do I'll slide from re to me and I'll play so do do so I only take it very slow from the top again and then uh, we continue <laughs> Basically, this is the interlude for a subontine by Ophayao Sapon. It's a very simple interlude. And, uh, you know, get your skills right. I always talk about the major scale. You know, to play locals, you need to get the major scale and learn it well. You know, once you know your major scale, you know, it will be very, impo it'll be very important for you because. I mean, you you'll be able to know the fretboard and know where you're going. You know, when you play something at a different place, you should be able to play the same thing elsewhere. For example, if I play this. Something similar though, you know, but then you should be able to play at different places on the fretboard at different places so thank you so much uh, see you in my next class i'll be breaking down adam by dana hamilton you know i'll do the interlude and then i'll do phrases for you in the song phrases for you in the song and then you know i'll give you a few tips on playing local guitars you know i've d dedicated the month of february to teaching local guitars and breakdowns so i want to thank you so much for subscribing to our channel following us on social media and uh, god bless you so much see you in our next video bye bye